Hey there, gang. I wanted to do a quick review of the Diadario expansion board, which allows you through these little switches on the inside to go from this to this size or to this size. Now, I've had this for a while, so that's why I haven't really spoken about it. Um, it's really cool. I will say that I'm pretty overall happy with it and I don't regret the purchase whatsoever. However, there's a couple of things that I think we should talk about that I want you to know about. All right, first of all, the expansion thing is awesome. Totally down with that. Dig it bigly. And, you know, because sometimes your board might be bigger, sometimes your board might be smaller. It's built pretty tough. You have to assemble it, so that's number one. You definitely have to assemble it, and then you have to adjust these feet that come with it for whatever height you wish. The front feet are pretty standard. They just screw right into the frame, but these back feet, as you can see, they can be adjusted, and you have to stay on top of it because they can get loose. Why are the back feet important? Well, this is one of my bones with this thing. Like I said, I love it overall, but one of my bones with it is, let's open it up all the way. You can see the profile, right? And there's the profile, say, of the lowest point or the point where you have the most space. It's not enough for most pedal board power, like Strymon won't fit under there comfortably, even with the feet a little higher. Now my chocks, or Psyox for some of you out there, that will just barely fit under here, the DC-7 anyway. But I was just wondering like what they were thinking about power supplies because I've got four different power types of power supplies, at least four, maybe more. But, you know, the major brands and the Chox DC7 is the only one that fits under there. So unless you want to take up more space on top of your board, that's kind of a bummer. And that's where the feet came in because I had to, for the DC-7 to fit here, I had to adjust the feet a little bit and, like I said, stay on top of it and make sure they are tight. So that's one bone I have with this. The second one is thus. So let's say you don't use it at the full 28-inch length that it comes. Maybe you don't need that much. Okay, well, here's the other problem. The case, the case is over 28 inches. And why? Well, because they have these little barriers on the inside that allow you to put other stuff in there, like maybe a volume pedal. So here are the little barriers and you can put these barriers inside. So I'll show this to you. Let's say, right, let's say, you know, the board is only uh, 18 inches or 20 inches and they give you room to put, uh, you know, cables and whatnot and everything. Great, right? Except it's still 28 inches and it's too big to put in any piece of luggage that you may take with you on the road. The largest piece of luggage that I have is 24 inches, I think. So even crossways um, on an angle, it's too big, doesn't fit in there. So those are my two main issues with it. I'll give you a little tip on something else I do with this. So this isn't a problem because, hey, not everybody's going to have this issue. But I have these two little pieces of double-sided Velcro. So it's the grab side and then the soft side. And I put them back to back and created, whoa, and created two of them. Why? Because when, I'll show you right now, if you have a pedal that lands, say, right here, you need that extra little bit of height on the lip 
so that it lays flat, otherwise it will be tilted. So that's not a problem I have with it. I worked around it, but it's just something else you should think of is that every once in a while, you're gonna have a pedal that lands over the lip. It's bound to happen. So just take one side of each side of a Velcro combination and put them, stick them back to back and then put them right there so that your pedal will have something to rest on. So that's my quick little review of this sucker. I'm keeping it. I've had it for a while. That's why I didn't want to talk about it to you all until I had some time with it. I also think these string trees, um, these little guides are fantastic. They give you a few of them. There's another one in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Uh, down at this end, right? And they give you a few of those that you snap in and you can route. That's really smart to route the cables and keep them tidy. But uh, the power supply issue and, which I'm really shocked they didn't think of, but the power supply issue and the fact that it's kind of impossible to put in checked luggage at that you have to carry it on. Yeah, those are kind of issues for me. What do you think? Have you tried it?